guys and welcome to day one of June Bloom. It's like flowers blooming or beauty or my channel since I was gone for so long blooming. I feel like there's a little bump or something right there but you know what we're just gonna ignore it. So today we are going to be doing my May favorites but it is also the first day of a brand new series for June that I've never done before and I'm so excited. I'm gonna talk about all of that at the end of this video and there's a giveaway so make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video but I'm gonna go ahead and get into my favorites because I have a lot right now. Well, do I have a lot? It might just be a normal amount, but I'm just extra excited about these favorites. Mm -hmm. So the first one is a face mask that Blair actually introduced me to. This is the Bliss Fabulous Skin Reviving Rubberizing Mask. It's rubbery. Guys, this mask is like one of the coolest things ever. You put it on and it comes in like these little, it was so weird. When I first got this, I was like, I do not know what is going on. There's like a packet that you mix with water and it turns into this like clay goo and you put it on your face with a spatula, which is like so intense. And then it actually like turns rubbery and you can peel it off and it's like rubber. It's the coolest thing ever. Blair was buying this for herself and I was just kind of like perusing the aisles and she goes, Elle, do you want me to get you one? And I'm like, no, 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 that's okay. So then she was checking out and the girl was like talking to her about ama how amazing it was. And I was like, oh, you know what? I do want to try that. And she goes, I offered to buy you one, but she was already checked out. The thing is we never buy each other products cause like we would just buy them ourselves. So I was like, Blair, buy me one. And she did. Like what? Why? I don't know why she bought this for me. Like I would have bought it myself and she knew that, but I think she really wanted me to try it, so. I got it and I really like it. It made my skin feel really soft, really smooth. I felt like it cleared out my pores. This is just incredible. It really, really is. Um, I'm a fan. The next favorite is like a weird one. You guys are going to be like, why is that your favorites? But it, it is though. It is the Studio 35 Premium Cotton Squares. I know it's like so dumb to talk about cotton squares in a favorites video, but the reason I like these is because they're like little pillows. I've never seen cotton pads like this. This feels very expensive and luxurious and like they should have been a lot more money than they were. I got these at Walgreens. I think you can get Studio 35 at other places too though. And I know you can get it online. These are like little pillows for your eyes. It just, they, they're puffy. They feel really just nice taking off your eye makeup. I just really liked these. I felt they were worth mention. My next few favorites are makeup products. The first one is a foundation. I did a first impressions of this foundation. It's the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation 3-in-1. I will link my first impressions review below because I really ended up liking this and I've been using it. Um, I've tried applying it different ways. I do like it with a beauty blender. In that video, I used a stippling brush, but I think I like it better with a beauty blender. This stuff's really good. It's like $6.50 at the drugstore and it has really, really good coverage. It's just a really good product and it lasts all day. So if you need a good drugstore foundation, you don't want to spend a lot of money, this is one you should definitely try because it's the best drugstore foundation that I've ever found. My next favorite is the Benefit Erase Paste. This is a concealer. I have it in number one. Even though it looks pretty dark for number one, it's actually perfect for underneath my eyes because it has a little bit of a peachy color to it that really helps combat um, under eye circles. I really haven't been using as much concealer lately as I used to. I think I've been sleeping better. This stuff kind of weirded me out at first because it has a very strange texture. It's very thick and it almost seems to stay tacky after you've applied it, which kind of freaked me out at first and then I realized I was just using too much of it. I actually don't even have it on today, so I will put a little bit on. I didn't do very much concealer today. But see, it's like a little bit darker than my skin, but it really just, it really just helps. I only put it underneath this eye. I don't know if you guys are gonna even be able to tell a difference because of the studio lights, but I just really, really like it. And I also use it sometimes with a lighter concealer piled on top just to kind of um, lighten it a little bit because it is a little bit of a darker color. My next favorite is the lip combination that I'm wearing, which is the Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in Natural with the Revlon Color Burst Lip Balm in Demure on top. This, I just love. It has like a little bit of a mintiness to it. I've actually loved this on its own without the lip liner for a long time, but with the lip liner, it is just so pretty. So I put the lip liner on all over my lips and then I put this on top. And if I'm like going anywhere, I just use, you know, I just take this with me and touch up with that. But 
I love this combination and I'm wearing it right now. The last makeup product that I have as a favorite is by The Balm. This is the Hot Mama Blush. This is such a pretty color. It's like a bronzy coral color, and I think it's the perfect summery beach color. It just blends so beautifully with bronzer if you contour and then use this as your blush. It is that I am on the beach kind of blush. I took this to Aruba with me, and I'm going to be taking it to Cabo also because it just feels like that blush to me where I want to use it when I've been in the sun all day and... I'm feeling that like beachy environment. This is the blush that I want. My next favorite is a hair product. This is the hair dryer that I had in my Vegas packing video. And in that video, I say that I've been loving this hair dryer and I wanted to review it in a favorites. And here it is. This is the Conair 3Q. The 3Q stand for quiet, quick, quality. Um, I actually kept the box because some of the marketing things on here is kind of incredible and I wanted to share. Um, it has rose gold on it, which I love. And it basically says that it has a 70% faster drying time, 40% less noise, and it is the first hair dryer to have a brushless motor that's available in mass retail, which basically for layman's terms, if you have no idea what that means, it means that this thing will last for like 50,000 uses versus 1,500 uses that a normal AC motor in a hair dryer will use. So basically, I will have this for the rest of my life. Like it is like, I will, 50,000 hair washings is a lot like this thing is gonna be with me forever i can't say mathematically if this thing cut my drying time 70 percent and if it's 40 percent quieter but i will tell you that i do feel like this dries my hair faster and it is quieter than the hair dryer that i was using before this i took this to vegas like i said and all of the girls ended up having to borrow it because the hotel hair dryer was terrible and no one had packed a hair dryer except me Everyone was like, Elsa Beauty Girl, of course she has one. But like, d doesn't everyone take hair dryers when they travel? Because I do. I don't go anywhere without my own hair dryer. I can't imagine just thinking I was going to use the hotel one because I feel like they're never good. Anyway, everyone used this one. It really is quiet. I felt like I could still have conversations with people when they were drying their hair. And it looks like a duck right now, kind of. Oh my gosh. Okay, so my iPad, I don't have a Kindle. I do most of my reading either on my iPad or on my Audible link. And my iPad shattered and I was heartbroken because I upgrade my phone and I upgrade my computer, but I never upgrade my iPad. I still had like, I think it was the second generation one, like seven iPads ago. Um, because I just don't feel like I need to upgrade it. So when that one shattered, I was actually like a little bit heartbroken because I felt so attached to it. But I ended up going to the store and this is the cheapest one they had. This is the iPad mini three, the 16 gig. And I picked it up and oh my goodness, this little guy was the perfect size to be like a reading kind of thing. So like, you know, it's like the size of a book. I have not been in love with an iPad as much as this one. My other one was like the big one. I love this. And speaking of iPad mini threes, um, I'm going to get into June Bloom and my giveaway now because I'm so June Bloom is going to be my June version of Makeup Mayhem. I wasn't able to do Makeup Mayhem this year because I was just getting back into the swing of things and I felt like that was absolutely overwhelming. But I'll tell you guys, I actually really regretted not doing it because I missed it. Like May is Makeup Mayhem to me and I just kind of missed it. So I'm doing a new one. It's going to be called June Bloom and it's going to be the same thing, a video every other day on the odd days of the month for June. This is going to count as day one, but I think I'm going to actually upload it on May 31st and not June 1st. The third will be the next one, then the fifth and seventh. You guys get it. For the giveaway, what I'm going to do is if you guys have been with me for a couple of years, then you might remember this because I've done this once before and it was so much fun that I want to do it again. But basically, it's a secret sentence scavenger hunt. So over the course of my 15 June Bloom videos, there will be secret words hidden in there in annotations throughout the video. It can be in any video. There can be one word, there could be two at two different places in the video. It's a scavenger hunt. And by the end of the 15 videos, if you put the words together in order of appearance, it gives you like a sentence or a phrase. And at the end, Everyone can submit their phrase to me through something I'm going to do on my blog and you'll be entered to win one of three grand prizes. So the grand prizes are going to be a $500 gift card, like a money gift card, Amex or Visa or something. 
The second one is going to be the Canon Rebel T5i kit, which is the camera that I film on. And I got, I bought the kit, so it has the lens and stuff too. And I'm going to do an SD card also. And the third grand prize is the iPad Mini 3. So the way it's going to work is I am going to have each person, when they submit the sentence, I'm also going to have them tell me what their dream grand prize is. And I'm going to pick three people that have three different picks. So like the first person that gets drawn that wants the $500 will get that. The second person or the first person that gets drawn that wants the iPad mini will get that. So you'll end up, if you win, you'll get your first pick of the three. Does that make sense? And then on top of that, I wrote this down because I didn't want to get confused. On top of that, I'm going to have other little gift cards throughout the series. I'm going to have one on Instagram, one on Facebook, one on Twitter and four $50 gift cards to random commenters throughout June Bloom. Just four people that comment on any of the videos will get four $50 gift cards. So that is gonna be June Bloom. I'm really excited about it. I've been like planning this for a while. I actually have my first, like all the videos while I'm in Cabo are already pre-filmed and uploaded on private and scheduled. So everything's like, I just feel so organized this year compared to years in the past and I feel like I needed my channel to like bloom again like June bloom you know like I've just been gone for so long and I missed you guys and I've been having so much fun putting up videos that I wanted to do this and I also like I'm doing June bloom for myself but I also wanted to do the giveaways for you guys because I just I feel like then I'm doing something for both of us you know what I mean um, and also I just want to like thank people that have stuck with me and haven't unsubscribed because I wasn't putting up videos. So obviously you have to be a subscriber, but that's the only requirement, the subscriber, and then keep track of the secret words, like write them down. Don't tell people if you see a secret word in a video, don't like say it in a comment below because then you'll alert people to the fact that there's a secret word in that video and you won't be able to like, get a leg up on everyone else who's entering. Does that make sense? So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys are as excited about June Bloom as I am because honestly, I have been planning this for like two weeks. I've been like filming extra videos in order to kind of just like get into the zone of doing this series and I'm so excited for it. So leave me a comment below if you guys would want to because you know the random commenter thing starts with this video and um, keep your eyes peeled for secret words because they will be starting in the next video because I don't think I can have one in this video because I didn't even talk about this till the end. So the first secret word could possibly be in the next video. And I will see you guys on May 3rd or June 3rd, June 3rd. Yeah, okay, bye.